my heart, <gasps> my lungs, <gasps> my brain, <gasps> my butt cheek, the left one. <gasps> so like I said, these are not rodents despite, despite their mouse-like appearance. Look at it. This is an adult. This is full grown. Cryptodes parva. Ow, ow. Quit biting me. Ouch. Ow, ow. Ow. The. Ow, ow. Ow. Okay, we might have to go get you a container to sit in, punk. Cryptodes parva, or Cryptodes parvus, is known as the North American least shrew. Now, these are some of the smallest mammals in the world, and they belong to the family Sauricidae. On top of that, they also belong to the order Eulipotyphla, which actually means very fat and blind. And that refers to a lot of members in this group being, you guessed it, fat and blind. Now, members of the order Eulipotyphla have long been a favorite of mine. I've always loved learning about hedgehogs and shrews and moles. So finding a shrew has been one of my top targets for the past many years. Join me on one of my most memorable and exciting adventures this year, catching my first shrew. Oh my god. Gosh, welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife, everybody. The craziest thing just happened. I'm still riding the high of it. Uh, we were just flipping some rocks and stones, looking for snakes and things like that. And all of the sudden, I see the tiny blur, something I have been waiting years to see. My heart, my lungs, my brain, my butt cheek, the left one, <gasps> all jump in the air, ecstatic. Oh, hallelujah. Praise be. The blur of the least shrew, a tiny carnivorous mammal I have been searching for for years. I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm about to flip the other rock and I'm like, wait. Gage, pull out the camera. We gots to get it on camera. He pulls out the camera and we dig right in to filming my first ever long time coming shrew video. So without any further ado, check out the shrew capture and experience we just made. Oh my God. Okay, so we just flipped this and a huge target for me came bounding out. So I'm gonna flip this one and I'm gonna try and get hands on it. This is something I have been trying to get my hands on for years. One of my all time favorite North American animals. I'm so excited right now. I, I hurry up, hope hurry up. I can catch it. I hurry hope up. I can catch it. Okay. I might need help holding this up while I go for it. Oh, oh, okay, it's right under my hand. Let's see. Come here. Come here. Oh. Oh. Ah. Don't bite me. Don't bite. Oh my gosh. Hey, quit it, quit it. Take a look right here, folks. This is Cryptodes parva. Ow, ow. Quit biting me. Ouch. Ow, ow. Ow. The, ow, ow, ow. Okay, we might have to go get you a container to sit in, punk. <laughs> this is Cryptodes parva, the least shrew. And this has been a huge target of mine for years. I used to go out looking specifically for shrews. I love them. Ow. We're gonna have to go get a container because he's biting the crap out of me. <laughs> okay, so we got a container, so he'll stop biting me, or she. You're so cute. Oh my goodness, look at it. 
I don't want to stress it out too much. Now, a lot of people think shrews are rodents, but that is not true. Uh, these are actually close relatives to moles, and they are primarily insectivores, but these are carnivorous, and they will eat anything they can capture and subdue. So I'm gonna try and move it into this container a little better. I am so happy about this. This is one of the coolest finds of the year. I have seriously been looking for, oh, looking for these for years. I know, I know, I know, I know. Golly, yeah. trying to bite the fire out of me too. It hasn't broken the skin yet, which is nice. I'm gonna try and just scoop it. They're so small, smaller than rodents really. There we go. You can see it a little better on that kind of lighter background. I felt like restraining it was a little too stressful. These are really small animals and stress can be pretty dangerous for them. So I'm hoping this will be a little easier for the little fella. Oh my gosh, so freaking cool. So like I said, these are not rodents despite, despite their mouse-like appearance. These are relatives to the moles, to the moon rats, to that whole group. So this is a very primitive, ancient type of mammal. And this is Cryptodes parva. I believe the, the common name is the least shrew. And what people don't realize or recognize about these creatures is that they are venomous to an extent. They have a venomous saliva, which is crazy, a venomous mammal. How neat is that? And he bit me a few times. Let me see. I don't think he broke the skin. He bit me right there. He bit me right there and there and there. What a rude little fella. Oh my gosh, look at that. I am so happy to have found this little shrew. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. And you see those tiny little eyes. Oh, they're so awesome. Now, something really interesting about these animals is that they, uh, Many species aren't even diurnal or nocturnal. Their metabolisms are so high that they have to be feeding almost constantly. So a lot of these animals are on basically a three hour schedule. They'll go out, they'll search for food, they'll search for insects or reptiles or other small mammals even and devour them. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to have found a shrew. He's so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> I'm so happy. Look at it. This is an adult. This is full grown. The babies are super tiny and a lot of shrew moms actually lead their baby single file. Their eyesight is so poor that these baby shrews will line up behind their siblings. And it'll look like a little line and they'll stop when the mother stops and they'll go when the mother goes. Oh, he's so tiny, so delicate. And he was really trying to bite the fire out of me. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy to have finally caught a shrew. Oh, now Cryptodes parva is really unique and interesting because these particular species are more or less communal than other shrews. So most shrews are extremely territorial. Um, some species like the short-tailed shrews, like in the genus Blarina, are incredibly territorial and they will regularly fight and cannibalize other shrews. But these little Cryptodes parva will actually live in small groups. And in the winter, they will often burrow and live in burrows together to conserve thermal energy. They'll snuggle in order to survive. Come take a closer look at this amazingly unique and primitive mammal. So you can see the front, their nose kind of is independent and it can kind of move around and flex and bend. And that's a characteristic of the animals in this group. Um, moles as well, they, they have almost kind of, a, of an appendable, um, opposable, I mean, nose. It kind of wriggles and moves around independently. Oh my gosh. Now these animals 
have many, many natural predators, as I'm sure you might be able to infer. Anything from owls to snakes to even large toads and frogs can gobble up even the largest of these amazing little shrews. It's okay. Seems to be calming down a bit. It doesn't feel like it's in mortal danger anymore. I wanted to get into the container because as I was restraining it, you could feel the poor little heartbeat boop, 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 going. It thinks it's gonna about to be eaten. And that's not what I want to do for the poor thing. It's not like the lizard uh, or, or a snake that after you handle it for a while, it realizes, oh, I'm okay. It's gonna keep trying to bite and fight its way out. And I don't want to cause any excess stress to my first beautiful shrew capture. Oh, I'm so happy to finally have found a shrew. This is amazing. Seriously, I mean, I don't know, Gage, how many times have we been out looking for shrews? Oh man, five or six times. Five or six of like- Just, just in this spot. Just in this area. Yeah. And for hours and hours and hours, searching and searching and I mean, searching at all times years. of the year. I mean, years, years I've been looking yeah. for shrews. Like you were looking for shrews when I first met you. Yeah, so. And that was what, like 2015, 2016? <laughs> it was forever <laughs> ago and I finally have one now, <laughs> which is great. It's so much fun. And even though we're off this busy road in this little, I mean, it's, it's we're backed up to a little playground. It's a little park, not a few blocks from my house that we've actually finally been able to find one of my all time biggest mammalian targets, Cryptodes parva, the least shrew. I am ridiculously happy. Tiny, venomous, voracious animal, not a rodent, a, a true tiger of the underworld. These are effective and ridiculously dangerous predators, uh, and they can regularly take down and subdue prey their own size, sometimes even larger. Many shrews will go after mice. Uh, it's not uncommon for these animals to take on such large prey, once again, because their appetites are so voracious, their metabolism is so quick that they have to be able to take down prey when it presents itself. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Now this little guy is probably maneuvering through the, the undergrowth at night. Once again, those poorly developed eyes, those tiny eyes are, are putting it at a disadvantage. So it comes out at night when it kind of levels the playing field. It's hard to see. Other animals are not gonna be as a head uh, for these shrews because they're not gonna be able to see them as well. And so these shrews are able to move in a more secure fashion in a safer way in the cover of darkness. And they are hunting. They are predators. These aren't your, your little door mice going around collecting seeds and grasses and nuts and things. These are predators. They are carnivores and they will eat everything they can. Well, we had a spectacular time with our lovely little shrew friend, <clears throat> bug in my throat. Actually, <clears throat> I got him. Anyway, we had a great time with our beautiful Cryptodes parva, least shrew, <clears throat> bug. <coughs> bug is still there. <clears throat> Oh, that was a good deep cough. Ugh. Nice and crunchy. Anyway, amazing time with our beautiful little shrew. We're going to release it under the rock we originally found it under. <clears throat> <clears throat> and hopefully we will find more creatures on this beautiful night. So here we go. Lovely, lovely, lovely little shrew. Come check this out. Oh, let me find a good spot where it's... <clears throat> able to get up under this easy enough. Uh, you know. Midges. Come on out, buddy. Is this your new home? Come on. It's okay. You can go this way. <clears throat> Come on, cutie. Oh my gosh. 
And there it goes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, that was awesome. Finally, I found a shrew. One of my things I could check off my bucket list has been checked off. A lovely, lovely little shrew, and I'm so happy I got to share it with you all. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little something about the unique creatures we call shrews. And I hope you enjoyed watching me find this lovely, lovely mammal. So, thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss any new future videos. Join our channel memberships for exclusive behind the scenes content. Buy the merch. It's fresh. And of course, above all, be sure you tune in next time for the next episode of Jack's World of Wildlife.